What's going on, family? Today is day four of my water fast. And boy, oh boy, I tell you, never in my life. So one thing I noticed is that I lost seven pounds. Not good, but it feels great. I can't complain. Um, I definitely feel lighter. Um, I noticed that um, I can... I'm starting to like, like I got like a little, little something, something, little breakout. Um, I guess my body's pushing it out, but I definitely am very shocked, very shocked that I could um, sustain myself this long without eating anything. And so this is incredible right now. I can't explain um, the inner joy from. Um, just being persevering on this personal journey, you know, it's just incredible when you you set you know you set the bar for yourself, and then you meet that bar and you actually go above and beyond that bar. It's just something incredible. Um, so let me just give you a little rundown of what I've been experiencing um, in the past two days since I linked up with y'all. Like I said, it was my desire. It was my desire to um, document every day of this journey. But like I said, I'm listening to my body. And my body on the third day said, shut it down. Do not, you, you don't, don't do the most, right? Do not do the most. And so let me try to remember. Uh, my third day was much better. My, my, my third day was like the, the second day I was like, I was I, I was I was feeling real slow. I was I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it. I was feeling a little a little down, mighty bad. But um, by day three, I tell you what, I have not been able to sleep more than five hours every night. I have not. Every night I get up, it doesn't matter. Last night and and my mind is so sharp. I mean, I've been accomplishing more. I've been accomplishing more without food in my body, which is surprising to me. Um, my mind is clear. Like even though I might, you know, get an occasional reminder that that you know from my conditioning that you know I didn't eat. I need to eat some. Um, but really, my mind is very sharp. I'm having amazing conversations. There's like, I mean, the connections that I'm having right now, are just mind blowing. Um, it's just, it's everything is in divine order. You know, it's just. I don't. I can't even explain it. But um, five hours of sleep a night, and when I tell you, I'm not even tired when I wake up. As a matter of fact, I I barely want to go lay down, and so I have to force myself. For example, um, well, let me get back to day three. Day three, I got up. I felt great. Um, I had some lemon in my water. That was like my treat. You know, I was like, oh, I had some uh, 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 Meyer lemons, which are amazing. And then I put some lemon in my water. And then I got myself ready for my comedic yoga class. I have four lovely sisters in here. And when I tell you that the energy was intense and powerful, man, it was so beautiful. These sisters came here. They showed me love. They asked me questions. We shared fellowship. And we shared comedic yoga. And I, and I kid you not, um, com yoga has been, comedic yoga has been, for me, I, I thought that I was going to have to lay down. You know, and I wasn't going to be able to have too much physical activity. But the reality is, if I'm not doing my comedic yoga, I don't feel okay. And so my body is telling me, uh, my master teacher told me that now is the time to, um, to do my advanced poses. And he is exactly right. Master Yasir Rahotep is definitely right because, listen, my body is doing things that it wasn't even doing before and now my body was doing things and and I'm impressed right now and so day three um culminated with me seeing my we driving out to um with a friend my friend Zara we went to go see my nephew I saw my family um and and I didn't and, and at the end of the day I, I at the end of the trip coming home as she was driving home that's the first time I got tired that night but it wasn't because of my body. It was because of the situation that I was dealing with. And so I got home and I and I cooled out. I started feeling all right. I had me a little, you know, some some um some some alkaline water with echinacea. 
And I just kind of just, rev, you know, chilled it out. I went to sleep. Two o'clock in the morning. And I had a dream. Now, this is what's really deep. My dreams are talking to me. Or maybe they've been talking to me, but I haven't been listening. Or maybe I haven't had the ability to listen. But last night, I had the most crystal clear dream. One of the most crystal clear dreams. Not because it was clear in what I could remember, but in, in what the dream was telling me. Right? So in this dream, here I am. I'm in my temple. I'm, there's this huge event. My family's here. And there's a lot of people here. I'm, I'm, I'm raising money for some function, for some reason. Right? And then what I remember was that it was, it was, I was overwhelmed. There was a feeling of like overwhelmed, like I couldn't do everything. I was trying to make sure the people was okay. I was trying to make sure that everything was being done, that the lineup was cool, that the presenters were okay. And the really, the thing was I couldn't manage the door. Like that was my issue. And so basically the money wasn't being raised. And I, and I had, you know, I had this feeling of this overwhelming feeling of just, of like anxiety, right? And so I went into the room, I went into one of the rooms in my temple and I was, I was crying. I was, and I was saying to myself, nobody's supporting me. Nobody's supporting me. Nobody's helping me. I'm all by myself in this. And then I woke up and I was, I mean, I came out of my sleep. Like, like that kind of like, if you was at a funeral crying, like it was so intense. Like, and I just, I just, I didn't stop it. I just let it go. I let it go. I let it go. And I was hysterical. There was tears streaming all down my face. And, I, and as, as the tears came down my face, I said to myself, you do have help. You do have help. You just have to ask. Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't create situations for yourself that you have, that, that will put you in a situation of being overwhelmed. You are the creator. You are the creator of this. And I was so fortunate because that I've been feeling overwhelmed, you know, since I resigned from my job. Since I got back from Jamaica, my yoga training, coming home and really trying to figure this out, like be independent, not trying to go work for anybody, you know, make it on my own talents, my own God given gifts. I, I'm determined. Right. And so it hasn't been easy. It has not been easy at all. And so really, um, when I shared the dream with my roommate, he said to me, yo, that is you, dude. Like every event you have, you in here cleaning the temple, preparing the food, cleaning the basement, cutting the grass, organizing the things, trying to even, you know, sell the food on your own. There's many times that if it wasn't for friends who came here, who, who stepped in, you know what I'm saying? It was like, yo, you need help. What's up? Show me where I, let me get in where I fit in. Then I would have been trying to do it all by myself. But really what I'm learning is I don't have to because I've been blessed with many a people around me who are willing to support me just as much as I'm willing to support and love them. And so I do that through that breakthrough this morning. It was like, wow, like, oh, man, like and I released so much out of my heart that I had that I didn't even know I was holding that I'm just going through every day, every day, every day that I didn't realize that I was holding and it was released. Man, it felt so good. I woke up. I said, oh, man, my week is starting. I had three days of just chilling, right? I was at my temple for three days, the first three days of my fast. But Monday marked the day that I had to walk. I had to walk out my door, not by choice. And so I go to Sevananda, where I'm the, 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 um, the feature demo chef for Meatless Mondays. And when I get in that kitchen... I think I must have smelled every single seasoning that was closed and open. I mean, and on top of that, it was Worker Appreciation Day. So not to mention, almost all, every staff was in there. It was like a potluck. They was all making their dishes. I mean, from ve from vegan banana pudding to this. I mean, I've seen the most incredible salad today that I've seen in a long time. And I couldn't eat anything. And, right, and so at that moment, I became this awareness of my relationship, my relationship with the food, my emotional connections, without even putting the food in my mouth, my nose was informing me of what, what was it that I was seeking in that, 
and that smell? Why was the cinnamon and the sweet sticking out to me? Right? And then when you do the emotional connections, you understand those are the foods that I go to. The, you know, those come for even the vegan, you know what I'm saying, the sweets, even the good ones. You know what I'm saying? Even the good ones. Um, man, I learned so much about my emotional connection to food today. And I'm so grateful. And I'm grateful for the staff at Savananda for constantly reminding me. Um, just, just constantly reminded that I do have people around me who are supporting me and who believe in what I'm doing. And they want to see me succeed. They want to see me succeed. And I tell you that today has been beautiful. I had to prepare food. I had to serve people. Serve food. I had to serve soup all day. Garnishing it with tomatoes and parsley and ah! And it was beautiful. And I'll tell you why it was beautiful. Because I got to experience the, the process of, of another person enjoying the energy that I put into something. And, 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 and living through them. I mean, it was so fulfilling. I've never... I never experienced that before. Sitting there, you know, when I got home from from uh, from Seven Islands today, I brought some soup home, and I fixed it for my roommate. You know, I find that you know, I said to myself, if I can't eat it, that really, what I realized was, it ain't my connection with the food is not really the, the eating the food. It's the process. It's the ritual of the food. It's my relationship with the food. It's 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 the it's the, it's, the, it's one of my healing tools. Right? It's one of my healing tools and it's not just something that I love to do. It's not just something that I love to do as a hobby. It's one of my healing tools. And so I sat there, I warmed the soup up for my roommate, I I chopped up some fresh tomatoes, I chopped up some fresh cucumbers, I sprinkled them all over the soup, he added some curry sauce and a little bit of sea salt. He sat down and I watched him eat. I watched every moment how he scraped the side of his bowl. <laughs> Yo, and he enjoyed it. He enjoyed it and I and I and the joy that I felt in my heart as he finished his last scoop and he practically licked the bowl. And I said to myself, that right there, that is what you that is what that is your connection. That is the power. That is the power, bro. And so I was like, yo, I'm good. The lessons that I'm learning, the people that I'm connecting with, the, the way that my body feels, tomorrow is day number five. I'm not excited about the weight loss. I must, ex I must say, that I got to be honest, right? Got to be honest. I'm not excited about the weight loss. But what I am excited about is the healing that I feel in my body right now. And the, the, the flush, the constant flush, you know, I feel my organs sometimes, my kidneys are squeezing, sometimes my liver is squeezing, sometimes my heart is racing if I get up too fast. I'm just such, so in tune, so in tune with my body temple right now. And I want to give thanks to the creator in me for creating this amazing experience for me to grow. And so... Um, like I said, I'm trying to keep it under 15 from now on. So, um, keep, I'm gonna keep y'all posted. It's been, it's been real. I'm telling y'all, this is, there's nothing like this experience. There's nothing like this experience. If you haven't, um, do some, do some research, go on YouTube, find other people who have gone through this experience and, and see what it is, man. But I just give thanks. Thank y'all for the support. I've seen, yo, I got so much love from all of y'all. I love y'all. This is real. I'm not kidding. You see the white in my eyes? I love it. Look at the teeth. They not that white yet, but they getting there. You feel me? I love y'all. This is true. It's not a lie. The Facebook, the Facebook love is overwhelming. It, it's just, I mean, let's do this, y'all. Let's, let's, let's build this future how we know it should be built. I love y'all. Thank y'all for the support. Day number five tomorrow. Peace and love.